Hey guys, it's Donna, and today we have a fashion box from Front Door Fashion and shoes from Nuvella. So we are loaded up today, girl. <laughs> so not only do my Front Door Fashion box come, but I also have two shoes from Nuvella that I wanted to share with you. I'm gonna move this really big box out of the way first so we can talk about the shoes, so hang on. All right, so Nubella reached out to me to see if I could share their shoes, and I am a shoe lover. I always have been since I was a little girl, so whenever a shoe company reaches out to me, I have got to try them. <laughs> so Nubella has very unique, minimalistic, um, very aesthetic shoes on their website, so I thought, I was very intrigued. I wanted to check them out and try them out. Um, they were kind enough to send me these two pairs. I have a pair of flats. I also have a pair of boots, and I'm hoping that maybe some of them will pair well with my front door fashion um, so that I can try them on for you as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's check it out. They are being kind enough to give my viewers 18% off. I'll leave the code across the screen here, and I'll also leave the code and the link below in the description in case you wanna check them out. You will not be surprised by the first pair that I picked out. These are a pair of flats. Are you ready? They're purple. <laughs> and look at this cute bow across the top. And I really loved the grip on the bottom. Like, look at the smiley faces. I didn't even see that. But look how beautiful and how functional those grips are. I just think it adds a little unique touch. Um, and they have a nice rubber slip resistant bottom. My husband's always worried about me falling and slipping. Um, let's look at the inside as well because I see a lot of good cushion on the inside um, and padding with that stitching going on there. Um, so I'm really excited to give those a shot. Okay, so that's the first pair. All right, and then the second pair they gave me is a pair of boots. Boots! All right, so I know it's springtime, but you can still spruce up a really cute dress with some boots um, or even shorts. I've seen that's a new style. Um, but these are really intriguing to me because they're sock ones. So they are completely elastic at the top. There's no zipper. So you get that full view instead of it being intruded by a zipper on the inside or something like that. It also has this beautiful stitching going along there and then that ribbing pattern. The bottom has a small block heel, which I can do small heels. And then it also has um, grips here along the bottom. And the top is just very soft. These also come in gray and red. I was tempted to get the reds, girls, but I figured black was more versatile. So I went ahead and went for the black. Um, I also saw the reviews on there and one lady said that these are the best fitting for her on her thighs and I do have bigger thighs. So I'm hoping that that is the case. So we're gonna try our front door fashion box and then we're gonna hopefully try these on with some of those pieces as well. So hang tight, let's grab that box. All right, so Front Door Fashion is a more higher-end service. I say service because they do work with your budget still. My stylists have been great for the boxes that I have received, um, but they are more of a high-end service. So they do require, don't be too shocked, $100 down payment. However, they will fully refund that to you if you decide not to purchase anything. And of course, if you purchase something, that $100 gets applied to anything you do buy. Let's say you buy something for $80, you will get $20 back. So don't be too stressed about that. I just wanted to put that little preface out there. Plus, I mine's delivered through FedEx and I'm able to have it picked up at my local shop um, so that I don't have to worry about signing for it at your front door. You do have to sign for it because they do value the products that are in here. They wanna make sure that they get into your hands. So just keep that in mind. But what's really cool is I'm able to give my viewers $50 off of your first purchase. So you can use my link below in the description. You'll get $50 off of something you decide to keep in your box. But you're going to understand here in a second, if you've never seen Front Door Fashion, why they take so much care and concern about their po the packaging um, and how they wrap everything up is just top notch. I mean, their stylists are amazing. They tailor everything to you and your preferences. You can also write individual emails to them um, so that they can get to know you and what you actually want. So are you guys excited? Let's go ahead and dive into this box. I'm gonna lay it down so that we can get everything opened. So let's see here. They do add a nice little handle there, which is nice. <laughs> so you can get it into your house a little bit easier and tote it around, which is nice. So what I've always been impressed with is that they put everything in a garment bag. Um, so everything is protected when you get it. Um, right here is our invoice. They also give you a prepaid label. You actually stick everything back in this box, put the label on the box, and you also take it to your local FedEx station. Um, and then in here is our invoice. I do like to leave that for the end um, because I don't like those things to sway my opinion. And sometimes they do throw in some more expensive items. 
and I'm more of a budget shopper. So sometimes it's difficult for me, but I still want to make sure that I give you my honest opinions. Um, I do have a stylist handwritten note. Very cool. Hi, Donna. It was so much fun to style you. I hope you find some pieces you love and you can use. Let me know what you think, Laura. I don't know if I've had Laura before. It's been a little while since I have done um, one of these boxes, um, so I can't remember. All right, so this here is our invoice, but we've got notes. The other thing I love is they put the outfits together for you. So they make, there's no guessing game. They tell you exactly what piece goes with the other pieces. Of course, you can mix and match however you feel creatively styled, um, but they give you all of that information. So you know what I think we'll do is we'll pull the outfits out and then I will read to you what the stylist was thinking as we try them on. And then that way it fits with each outfit. Each part, each section has different outfits. So the stylist has a note about each one. So let's just pull the pieces out. Let's take a look at that. I feel like I'm jibber jabbering <laughs> today. Um, and let's see what they sent us. Okay, they also hang them on the hangers together in the outfits that you're supposed to try them on as. So I think that's kind of neat as well. Um, so the first one here, we have this really pretty white jacket. I actually already own a white jacket, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna need that, but I'm sure it's gonna look cute for the full look of the outfit. And then it looks like we have a purple, oh, and the jacket is by Ichi, um, size 40. So apparently that's maybe a European sizing. And look at this pretty purple underneath here. Oh, is it short sleeves? It is short sleeves. It's more of a sweater material though, um, but I can tell it's a very nice sweater. And it's by Liverpool. I know I have some Liverpool pants um, and they are more of a higher end, high cost, but they wear and wash really well. Um, and then it looks like we have some Jilly jeans or shorts. They're actually shorts um, underneath here. Um, these are, let's see if we can get to the style. Um, it says, oh no, these are Lily. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, the Gia Glider <laughs> New Revolutionary Pull On by Liverpool as well. And these are shorts. Um, they do have the raw edging and I'm not sure if I love that, um, but I do like the wash of it. I don't know if I've ever tried a raw edge short. They do have some um, hemming here on the side, so they do have a finished look to them. And I do love the pull on. They are elastic, everybody. That's amazing. So this is like a faux zipper here. I like that part. Okay. So that's off to a good start. I love that. Okay. All right. Our next outfit looks like just a top here. So we could pair this, I'm sure, with the shorts as well. It's a flowy green top. And then the back has the detail. So we've got some pleating going on there with a keyhole button. Um, this one is by B Young um, or Unique. I'm sorry. B Unique. Um, so I don't know. It has a lot of wrinkles though. So that concerns me a little bit. We'll see when we get it on. <laughs> All right, next up we have a Michael Starr tee, it looks like, with some white jeans underneath. Um, Michael Starr is also expensive, um, but this has like a distressing around the collar and then like this gauzy material here for the sleeve. So I like the feel of it. Um, and then the edges are also raw on the bottom of the t-shirt. Um, the pants underneath have a raw hem, kind of almost a fringy hem. And these are by... Liverpool as well. These are the crop straight jeans. So I like the idea here. I'm just kind of feeling the dollar signs chicken up. So we'll see. I keep saying that, but I do. I try to keep an open mind. This is by Bishop and Young, size medium. So we've got more of a blue with the white stripes. Not sure. I'm not sure on this one. Um, I've never tried anything like this before. So I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not. It does have one button here in the front. So, okay. All right. Next up, ooh, I like this one. Look at that. That's cute. So we have like a flowy tank there. Um, it looks like we have like a um, white cami, but it's very long, like bodysuit almost going on there underneath. And then what are these pink things? Are they shorts? These are shorts. Those are cute. I really like those. I just recently got purple shorts, <laughs> so kind of broadening my horizons with my colors. These are by Sanctuary, size large, elastic waist again, which is great. The white cami is by Tease by Tina. And then the, the tank on top is by Sabina Musalvin, and it's a size medium. So I'm really excited about trying that outfit on. That is definitely my style. All right, and then lastly, it looks like we have by Tarte, like a dress, I think, like casual dress, sleeveless dress um, with more of a um, drawstring here in the middle, cinched waist, 
And then the bottom has like some ruching going on here. So I'm thinking it's more of a straight skirt bottom to it. So I'm kind of curious. We've got a whole menagerie here of different things. So let's not dilly dally. Let's go ahead and try some things on. All right, so let's read what the stylist has to say so we understand where she was going with this. So it says, in this first collection, I've paired these classically light distressed shorts with the short sleeve lightweight purple sweater. I know this is one of your fave colors, and since we didn't have a lavender short, I wanted to make sure to include at least one purple item, which is good, because I actually found my lavender shorts recently, so I didn't want to get two. Um, I've also added this distressed white denim jacket to add a touch of preppy to the look. Um, since these shorts are such a staple, I've also paired them with the light green blouse, which we are going to try on in a second, with the panel stitching on the back. You can pair this blouse with the white jean jacket as well. Okay, so we'll switch that out here in a second. I also paired it with my new Bella flats, and I think they're so cute with this. We've got that purple color right there that's matching so nicely with the purple top. So let's break the outfit down. Um, I mentioned earlier that I do have a white jacket, but this one is great. Um, it fits really nicely. I don't ever expect to close a fashion jacket, do you? <laughs> I think it's more for the look and I like it more of an open look. So I like this fit. Um, the sleeves are a little bit on the longer length, which I do like, um, but if you don't have a white jacket in your wardrobe, you need one because it matches everything. <laughs> um, but it's a good length too. I also like where it hits here on the waist. Um, I feel like that, that is a good look. So the jacket is really cute. Okay, let's talk about the purple top. All right, so I do really like the purple top as well. It is more of a sweater material, but it's a thin sweater. I'm hot natured, so I'm not quite sure. I also kind of feel like for some reason, this color might be washing me out. I can't believe there's a pur purple tone that washes me out. But what do you think? I think it was much better with the jacket. Um, than by itself. I like all the stitching detail. I think that that's really unique and really pretty. I do like the color overall. I don't know. What do you guys think? I need help with this shirt. So let me know what you think. All right, the shorts. The shorts are very comfortable as well. I love that they're slip on, but they feel like they're kind of riding up um, here when I'm moving around. So I don't want to be pulling them down all day. Um, they hit in a nice mid waist spot here. They have short pockets in the front, so I don't know if I'm crazy about that either. Pockets are really nice in the back though, but for some reason I'm just feeling like they don't look good on me, but I'm not sure. Let's try the green top on too, so hang on. Okay, I'm not going to take long on this shirt because I'm worried I'm going to break it. It is way too small for me, so I don't know what this brand is or why it feels this way, but the arms barely even fit on me. Do you see how they're squeezing them? Like so bad. So this is definitely not the top for me. I'm sure it's cute on somebody, but the wrinkability too, if that's a word, wrinkability, but I'd have to go up two sizes or shrink my arms <laughs> for this to fit. I can't even go like this. So let's keep moving. All right, so I like the overall look and feel of this, but let's see what the stylist was thinking when she put this together. In this collection, I've paired these distressed white jeans, which are such a fun spring staple. This first look that I've paired with you with a light blue distressed Michael Stars blouse with an easy casual but cute option. Again, these jeans are so versatile that I can also pair them with the navy oversized pinstripe blouse, which we'll do here in just a second. So I definitely understand where she was going with this. Um, I just don't know if I need it in my life. Um, the sleeves on the top are kind of odd. Like they're just very, very floaty. <laughs> But they could be cool, I guess, in the summertime. Um, I do like the look of it, though, with that distressing we talked about earlier. Um, it probably would be cute if I knew how to tuck. There we go. It's not too bad, right? We could tuck it in. Um, so overall, it's okay. Kind of feel like the price might be too much for what I want to pay for a t-shirt. All right, the pants. So the pants fit well, too. I actually already have white jeans, though, so I probably don't need them in my life. If you don't have white jeans, it's kind of like the white jacket. You just need them in your life because they match so many things and they just spruce an outfit up and it's so effortless. Um, these are cute. Um, I have a little bit of pulling going across here um, and I'm not a huge fan of the bottoms. It has that distressed fringy look. Um, it's just that like understated distressed look, I guess. Um, there's a couple places here that have some distressing, but you can just tell it's intentional. So I don't know if I love that too much. Um, a little bit of gapping right here as well. I have that problem with most pants um, in certain brands, which kind of surprises me because Liverpool usually fits me pretty well. So I'm not quite sure why it's gapping right there, but let's try the navy top on with it. Hang on. All right, so this isn't really working for me either. It's just 
super the oversized look and I don't do the oversized look. Um, I like the colors together. That might be it. Um, I just, I just don't like this fit. Um, the sleeves are too long. So I feel like that's going to bother me all day. I feel like it's kind of like hanging off of me. Maybe I need to go down a size and it would be cute, but it just needs to be more tailored. That's more my look, um, than the tenty look. I'm also kind of worried about this popping open. So I'm going to have to put a cami under it if I keep it. It's just kind of flowy, I guess, is the feel. Maybe with a cute pair of heels, this one would look really cute, but I don't know. Let me know your comments as we go through. I can't wait to get the pink outfit on. So hang on. All right. So as much as I really wanted to love this outfit, it is not going to work for me. Um, we'll start with the outside. So the sheer pink top, you have to wear something under it. It is completely see-through. Um, it's also very itchy because it has these like metallic pieces sticking out from it that are rubbing on my arms very itchy and I'm not quite sure what's going on with the flaps here in the front so I'm not a huge fan of that um it continues around the back so unfortunately not gonna work also the tank for underneath of it is super long like it goes past my tushy so again I just don't think it's practical um for just underneath of a top so the tank's gonna be a no the shorts I really wanted to love, but they're too small for me. I barely got them on, um, but I think they're cute. I would just need to size up if the price is right. Um, they are more of a linen look or feel. I'm gonna have to look at the content to see if it's actual linen. So then I worry about it wrinkling um, and also how to care for it, how to wash it. But it's too snug here across my tushy as well. So again, I would have to try the bigger size. So ugh, good for kind of striking zero, unfortunately, but we still have a dress, so let's try that on. Okay, so this is a little bit comical to get on um, because it does not fit. It is like a bodycon dress. I need to go up two sizes. Um, this is squeezing the life out of me. Color's amazing, concept's amazing. This is not gonna work. It did come with a long um, t-shirt tank underneath, like a slip, um, but it's also too long. It was sticking out of the bottom, so I had to tuck it underneath. Um, style's okay. Again, I can't even turn around because I'm just kind of embarrassed. I did want to show you the boots though. So I went ahead and paired them with this dress because I think it would be really cute with this dress, <laughs> but the dress is just a little bit too va va boom or something. I'm not quite sure, but I need to peel myself out of this dress and then let's take a second to look at the prices. So hang on. All right. So what did you guys think? I, I love some pieces. I didn't like some pieces. I think there was a good mix here maybe. Um, so we've got to go through and maybe the prices will help us decide. I did forget to read the stylus notes on those last couple ones because I just kind of threw them together. So let's read those real quick. So the pink outfit, she said, again, since we didn't have purple shorts, I wanted to give you at least one fun, colorful short option. So I've paired these hot pink lightweight shorts with the delicate floral blouse. I've also included the white spaghetti strap cami to wear underneath for more coverage. And then the last one, she said, I also wanted to give you a simple dress option that you can throw on whenever you need a quick and simple but sophisticated option. So I've chosen this teal day dress with a cinched waist. I've also included the white slip dress to wear underneath for coverage. Additionally, this dress would pair well with the white denim jacket from collection one. And I do agree with that, but that didn't fit. <laughs> so before I forget, I also wanted to say thank you to New Bella for sending the shoes for me to try with the outfits and for also giving my viewers 18% off. Again, all of the details are below in the description. All right, so let's dive into the prices. I think that's sometimes the, the gimme here. All right, so for the first outfit, the shorts. I'm just gonna pop them up on the screen because this is just too much to have to unbox again. So I'm just gonna pop them up. All right, so the shorts are by Liverpool. These are the Gia HR 4.5 inch glider fray short um, in the color Tilton, size 32, and they are $79. Just kind of felt like the fit wasn't quite there for me, so I'll have to pass on that. All right, so this top here, this is the Liverpool Scoops short sleeve sweater in purple haze, size medium, and this one is $79. I was kind of expecting that price, um, but it is a really nice work sweater. Um, I'm just not sure if I'll get too hot in it. All right, the green top that didn't fit me, apparently Be Young um, is definitely, I thought it said unique on the tag, but apparently that's a junior brand. Um, it's Joella O Neck Blouse in Frosty Green, size medium slash large, and that was $45. Yeah, I would have kept that. Not really, I didn't even like it. Even if it had fit, I don't think I like the style of it. All right, and then the jacket um, is by Ichi. It's the Ziggy Denim Jacket in bright white, size large, and it's $115. All right, on to the next outfit. The top was Michael Starr's Tate T in Harbor, size medium, $98. I 
I can't stomach $98. All right, and then the um, pants were Liverpool Kennedy MR27 uh, Crop Straight Bone White Bite was the color, size 32, and they were also $98. Um, and then the navy top with the white stripes is Bishop and Young Minimalist Top, navy white stripes, size medium, and that one's $85. All right, next outfit, um, the tank top, let's see, the white tank underneath is Teased by Tina, is a cami in color white, one size for $30. That's a really nice price for an under tank, I think. Um, Sabina Musave, a Rizzling Top in the color orange. I thought it was more of a pink color, but size medium. $150 for the sheer tank. You'd if I had loved it. I don't think I would have bought it for that price. All right. And then the um, pink shorts were Sanctuary Endless Summer Linen Shorts. They were linen. Um, color tart and size large. And those were $89. I would definitely have to get a bigger size <clears throat> for those to fit. And then lastly, the dress. Um, that was the Tart Collections L Lilia dress um, in blue light in size medium. And that was $119. I would need an extra large at least. And I just don't, the body con isn't my thing. Um, and then the undergarment was a uh, Tease by Tina cami tunic slip dress in the color white, one size, and that was $50. So I'm just not sure. I don't, I don't know at these prices what I should be doing. Um, if you keep everything in the box, you do get an additional 10% off. So the total for the whole box is $1,037. It would take 10% off, which is $103.70. Don't forget, if you do want to try them on, I expect those prices with us. It's a high-end service. You just have to keep an open mind. Um, but if you want to give them a try, I do have a link below that will give you $50 off of your first box. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your favorite piece. Try to ignore the prices. Just tell me what your favorite piece is down in the comments below. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Please take a second to like the video and always subscribe and click the bell so you see these style videos when they come out. Till next time, guys. Happy styling.